In this question, we're asked uh, to consider the following linked capacitors. So we start with uh, some capacitor that has some capacitance, and we're told it's charged to some potential. Okay, so we have a potential across this capacitor, let's call it a V naught. Then this capacitor, after it's charged, is then connected to another capacitor. And let's say it has capacitance C. And so then we want to know uh, what is the uh, charge? Well, charge of the system. We know the charge. We want to find the new uh, change in potential across the capacitors, and we want to find if there's any energy loss. Okay, so how do we go about doing this? What is the charge of the system? Well, let's start up here first. Uh, we're given that we have a capacitor that has some set voltage across it, and we know the relationship between charge and voltage for a capacitor, and that is that the char the amount of charge is equal to the capacitance times the voltage across the capacitor. And so that already gives us uh, plus the, the first one, which is the total charge of the of this the system is just C naught times V naught. Okay, the the second question is what is the new uh, delta V? So in our new system here we have some uh, change in potential across these two capacitors. In fact, if we want to be specific, what we know of course is that uh, all connected conductors um, are at the same potential. So we know that this wire and and this side of the capacitors are all at one potential and then this side all has to be at the at the same potential so that's all at potential green v this is all at potential blue v and then delta v across each capacitor has to be the same so what we know then is that the the delta the change in v um, across each has to be the same. And so if we look then the use this relationship again, we know that the new uh, change in voltage is equal to the is equal to the the charge across the upper capacitor divided by its capacitance. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to do epsilon not there, c naught. So if say there's some we'll call this q a some amount of charge across the upper capacitor that divided by the capacitance is this change in voltage and that voltage difference has to be the same for both capacitors and so the lower one also has some amount of charge qb divided by its capacitance and they have to be equal now they have to uh, lead to the same change in potential. Okay, so we know charge is conserved, and so we didn't lose our gain charge. So our total amount of charge has to be equal to the sum of the charges across both capacitors. Okay, and so now it looks like we might be able to uh, come up with a relationship for these, if I use, uh, let's see here, these to substitute in here, we know that then the total charge is equal to QA, which is C naught times delta V, and the charge across the lower capacitor is just its capacitance times delta V. We can pull out the delta V and then we have delta V is equal to the total charge over C naught plus C. And uh, in terms of our original parameters, if we wanted to, because we were given the initial capacitance and the initial voltage, so our final voltage uh, looks like this. And so we're down uh, from our original V naught by a factor of uh, C naught divided by the total capacitance.
Okay, so this is our, our new potential. It's uh, lower than it was uh, originally. And so now we want to take a look at the energy. So, so what happened to uh, the energy when we hooked it up to the second capacitor? So let's just calculate our initial. So we know the energy for, let's, let's get rid of that. The energy for a capacitor is given by, uh, there's a number of ways to write it, but in terms of it, the capacitance and the voltage across the capacitor, it's equal to one half times the capacitance time, times the voltage across the capacitor squared. So let's just look at initial then. So initially, we just had the one capacitor at the potential. So initially, we had this energy, which is one half uh, C naught times the voltage squared. So in the final, now we had two capacitors. The here, and so we had then our uh, final. Our final is then one half our initial capacitance times the new uh, change. Uh, delta V is just the new voltage across the capacitor from the last time and then times the the second capacitor and it's the voltage across it which is the same as before so the energy is this one half c naught plus c delta v squared okay and so in, in terms of our initial parameters uh we can use what we found in the previous one what our new voltage is and substitute that in and so I now get um, one half C naught plus C. That's C naught V naught over C naught plus C, and that's all squared. Okay, well, it looks like one factor here cancels. So we can simplify this a little bit by uh, one half times uh, C naught squared V naught squared just over one factor of C naught plus C. Okay, so that's the initial and final, and we want to find the amount of energy lost. You know, typically we do stuff like this, change in U, it would be U final minus U initial. That's a, sort of a, a common thing we usually do, but uh, you know, I'm just, uh, yeah, just to, uh, <laughs> because I know I'm calculating a loss of energy, um, I'm just going to calculate directly the U initial minus U final because I know that it lost energy and so my initial energy is going to be higher. I'm simply looking for an amount. The sign of the energy doesn't really carry any any meaning at this point. And so I'm just going to, to calculate this difference directly. So my initial energy, I said one half. Uh, of the initial capacitance, the initial voltage across capacitor squared, minus the final energy, which is uh, one half, uh, if I write this conveniently, it looks like there's, I can pull out a C naught V naught squared times the quantity uh, C naught over C naught plus C. And so by writing it that way, I can see immediately that I can factor out a one-half C naught V naught squared, and I get a one minus C naught over C naught plus C. Okay, what am I gonna do with that? Well, let's, let's, let's go ahead and simplify this and see what we end up with. So one-half C naught V naught squared, and then this one, I'm gonna put everything over a common denominator, plus C, for C naught plus C minus C naught. This is all now over the common denominator, C naught plus C. So these cancel, and I get one half C naught V naught squared times C over C naught plus C. So this is now the, the difference uh, the difference 
in the energy. So here's the initial energy. Let's, let's take a look at this and see what this is telling us. So here, right here, this is UI. And so the final energy is UI multiplied by this term, which is less than one. So, uh, and so this is the, the, the difference in the energies. If we want to know the fraction lost, the fraction loss is just the difference, UI minus UF divided by UI. Then if I divide this by UI, I just get the simple C, C naught plus C. Okay, so I can calculate the amount and then find that the, the fraction lost is, is just the uh, ratio between the capacitance that we added here, the second capacitor we added to the system, divided by the total capacitance.